this segment um, we're going to talk about variables a variable is nothing more than the name of a memory location in a computer so um, there I can do a equals 3 what that is is you if you think about a computer and somewhere in that computer is memory a lot of it um, and you sort of think about it like uh, the PO boxes at a post office so let's do this and so sort of the fundamental way to think about it is is that there are memory locations in that PO box and you can assign a name to those memory locations so I've called this memory location A and I've put the value 3 in there so it's not really A equals 3 one way to say it is memory location A gets the value 3 um, I could also call it memory locate I could do a memory location B and that could get the value 4 so B gets the value 4 and I can do C gets the value 8 and so C gets the value 8 now I can do things like uh, D gets C which means memory location D gets the value that was stored in memory location C which is 8 right now if I change what's in C so now I say C gets 7 so that means the memory the value in memory location C now gets 7 D does not change because these aren't bound together in any kind of way um, the assignment is made here and that's the only time it's made D and C are not assigned together not, they're not defined together um, and so if you whenever you see when you're dealing with programming whenever you see the equal sign um, think about it as the arrow sign which says uh, the memory location on the left um, gets the value on the right now let's talk about naming variables and what are valid variable names um, you can name a variable pretty much anything you want to um, I can name um, sticking with our Georgia Tech theme I can name it buzz and buzz can get the value 16 and so now there's memory location buzz and it has the value 16 um, I can do a memory location Georgia and that has the value 23 and so memory location named Georgia has the value 23 now there are some rules to naming variables uh, the first rule is that you use letters can be upper or lower case um, you can use numbers and um, let's just stick with in MATLAB you can use the underscore right. um, the variable name needs to start with a letter either upper or lower case uh, we have some conventions that I'm going to talk about in a minute um, so when you're when you're doing variable names we usually so now this is these are conventions these aren't rules but this is how um, it's usually done um, we usually start variable names with lowercase and usually they stay lowercase um, unless you want to do multiple words so let's say if I wanted to do a variable called Georgia Tech I would do it something like this if it's a two word I would either do Georgia underscore tech or I would do something like Georgia and then capitalize uh, the first letter of the second word so that it looks looks a little different um, and these are variable names as well so I could do Georgia Tech gets uh, 42 and this Georgia Tech gets uh, 15 and that would create a variable Let's see if I can fit it in here uh, Georgia um, Tech 
and then the other one is Georgia Capital Tech and then this one would get 42 and this one would get 15 um, so those are those are perfectly valid as well you cannot have a space in a variable name so you could not do um, Georgia space then tech the computer would not recognize it would try to recognize these as two separate variable names so you could not do um, you could not do this so that's a that's a no go um, like I said we usually uh, don't do capital letters and then this is also case sensitive so in other words if I had variable name uh, oops if I had variable name yellow that is different than variable name capital Y E L L O W, or it's different than W uh, lowercase Y capital E L L O W. In other words, caps and lowercase are different, so case sensitivity um, is there too. Um, so if we stick to this basic convention here um, with either either of these two options, uh, and I tend to go back and forth. Uh, I like to try to stay consistent, but sometimes I, I'm not. Um, if we stick with these two naming conventions, we'll be fine with variable names. Uh, the thing about variable names also is you want to be somewhat descriptive, um, but you don't want to be too long. So depending on the problem, uh, like if I was doing the Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared, then I would probably name my variables a, b, and c. But if I was doing something like uh, trying to figure out interest rate, then I probably would name my variable something like rate and principal um, and um, term. I would probably name them things that are meaningful uh, for that particular problem. So you want to have meaningful names, but you don't want them to be too long and that you have to type them over and over again. So <laughs> this is a general overview of variables. Keep in mind, they're nothing more than names of memory locations in a computer. Um, and so if you think about them that way, uh, that's a good basic way to start. And then we'll talk about different types of variables as we go forward. Okay, I want to use this video um, to show some stuff about variables in MATLAB. Um, specifically, I want to talk about the workspace over here. So let me mimic what I did on the board um, in a script here. Uh, if I do variable a equals 3, um, let me put a semicolon on there. And if I do b equals 4 and c equals 8 and d equals c, um, once again, I'll go back and put these semicolons in. I'll explain that probably in class. Uh, C equals 7. Um, so let's just do those for a minute and, um, and go ahead and load this. On the first time I try to run, it's going to ask me to save it. Um, I'm just going to do my bars um, intro. And that will save it as a script file over here. Uh, now, what I want you to notice is over here in the workspace area. Um, so I've made these variable assignments here in the editor. And now over here in the workspace area, you notice that it has these names. And these are the names of my variables. And then it has the value of that variable. And it talks about the max and the min, which really, since we're only doing one number, they're the same thing. And sometimes you might want to, if you had a very large vector or something like that, and we'll talk about vectors shortly, uh, something that contains more than one value, you, you might want that information. But if you go up here and right click, you can select what information you get. Okay? The size, um, how many bytes it takes up, mean, medium mode, the range, uh, uh, and all of that stuff. So um, what I'm more concerned with right now is let's take out man, take out max, let's put this thing called class in there. And class is um, also can be called type. It's the type of variable it is. These are type double. Double means it's a real number. Uh, they call them um, double because they use two bytes uh, worth of information, which gives you a very large number. So these are type double. Uh, so, um, so as we put more variables in here, you'll see, so if I did 
as I did in the, on the board, buzz equals 16. Um, I know Georgia equals 23. Um, any of those are valid variable names. In fact, even the one I talked about, Georgia uh, Tech equals 42. Or another name you can mention, Georgia CH equals 15. Um, so if I did that and when I save it and run it, notice that all these variables are defined. They're also in alphabetical order. Caps go before lowercase. So they're all in alphabetical order. And you can see these are all of type double here. Um, let me do a couple more types. Um, I could do variable E equals, um, let's just do uh, the letter F. Uh, and then F equals the value true. These are types, different type variables. Um, and as you can see here, notice with E, the, the image change from the, this, the cross hatch here, uh, or excuse me, the cross here, to the AB, which indicates it's a type char, uh, which is type character. And it has the quotes around it. Um, the check here is of type Boolean or logical. And so we talk about Boolean and logical. They use interchangeably uh, values. And notice I put true here, but it has a value of 1. Um, if I had put a zero here, I'm assuming a false there, it would have had a value of zero. So this is a way, uh, these are our memory locations that we're using. They're their names. Uh, once again, we can get information about their size, how many bytes they're using, what have you. Um, but right now, it's just focusing on the type of variable it is. And so this is a general introduction to variables.